Yeah, so so natural disasters and nutting, I I feel you. Hell yeah. yeah. Again, the penis can tell when something's coming. Oh shit, my sock talk squad. This is your boy Trevor Walls, aka Mr. Marley and me. Psych, I've never seen it. And I have massive, huge, enormous, erect news for you. This Saturday, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, your boy is hosting his very own live stream stand up comedy show broadcast it globally. The show features me and some of my favorite stand-up comedians, and you guessed it, your boy, Mr. Foot Fetish himself, the floor general, Dr. Scholl's Michael Blaustein will also be on the show. And if you can't make that time, don't even worry about it, okay? I know a lot of you guys are gonna be out on Saturday night drinking, a lot of you are gonna be in your room alone, regrouping to some fishnet hot topic shit, but don't even trip. The link will be live for 48 hours so you can watch the stream for the next two days. But if you wanna hop in the comment section and be chatting it up with everybody else in the stream, you're gonna to wanna to be there at seven o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, this Saturday, October 24th. The tickets are in my Instagram bio and I'll put them in the YouTube bio. See you guys there. All right, what's up, Stiff Socks, watchers, listeners, viewers, whatever it is, this is the Young Gravy episode, part two. Deuce. Yeah, baby. Burr, 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 burr. Who's the first person to invent that? The air horns? Who? I don't know. Somebody who didn't know how to play the next song and they were buying themselves time. Fuck. And they were like, oh, fuck, next song. Bum, 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 yep. bum, bum. That shit hits, though. That's hard. Hits. I love it. I mean, someone, can you make money off that? Because you need to. You who need made to, the air horn? That's what I'm saying. You Probably. need to trademark that shit. I love it. Do you do excessive shit when you're on stage? Like, does your DJ do a hella like do 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 do? Hella, yeah, yeah. Hella. You mean tip? You ever yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him at uh, a yeah. music video. You can look him in the eyes and just know he does extra shit. It's yeah. funny though. There'll be like <laughs> just a fuck ton of gun noises, you know, and yeah, you're looking out, and it's just exactly like a bunch that. of like fifteen year olds being like, "Are we in yeah. the right concert?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a pop pop pop. Fuck yeah, your yeah, mom, go, huh? Go over the top with it for sure. Yeah, I do that in my music sometimes too. Just like as an outro, just like. When I used to be able to just throw any sample on my music, I would just like might as well just throw everything, anything that I could find that said the word gravy in it or like mom, I would just like spam it who's, on there. Who's the guy that does the voice that I don't even know how to do it like that? Uh, he just, whoa, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Sure. That's uh Kevin, dude. Shout out to Kevin. <laughs> Is this a guy uh, named Kevin? Guy named I thought Kevin. it was like a really famous like radio <laughs> DJ from like no, no, New no. Brunswick or something. No, but it's, it's just Kevin. He's 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 a, he's a legend, dude. Kevin the, is is a legend. He's does from, he do voiceover shit? Or he's he, from the Bronx. He's like. He's done a lot of shit like that. I don't know exactly what, but I met him through like another. So basically, tight. the original sample I used was Dennis Edwards. It's from like uh, the song called "Don't Look Any Further." If anyone needs to check it out, shout uh, out, shout out. And then um, I had to recreate it for legal reasons, and someone was just like, "Yo, hit my dude Kevin up." He's like, "Hit up Kevin." It's, it's funny too because he's he's like seventy something, and like whenever no. I like hit him up, it's like hard to kind of communicate because yeah, he's gotta like, send him a carrier yeah, you got to kind of like, yeah, yeah. You got to like, knock on his door type yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'll text him and he'll always confirm that it's me on the same number. He's like, this is gravy still, right? Like, let me call you and shit. So he's, he's, he's a real one. He's, he's dope. And he's done a lot of other stuff too, but like the- Is he a famous voiceover artist? He, 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 I don't know. I feel bad. He's, he, he's definitely done some other stuff. I know he, yeah, yeah. he had some big come ups for doing that, but yeah, he's- He's been around, obviously. That's awesome. I love that shit. Been making moves, yeah. How did you get the sample for It's Always Sunny? One of your songs is sampled from Sunny. Or Man. is that like they just don't know about it yet? No, <laughs> they, they, that's how a lot of my samples were forever when, when I didn't clear them. Um, yeah, so how does that work? You just put it out there and hope that they fuck with it? The That that was the, the case before. And then everyone was looking at me like, yo, like, how are your songs this big and uncleared or whatever? Like, I had yeah, a, a right. few that just recently got taken down. There was. Fuck. Three in the last like year it was like George Michael, Careless Whisper, yeah. uh, oh, Baby Come Back by Player. They got me on that one. And um, Damn. Forget Me Nots by Patrice Russian. That's uh, a fucking, yeah. That's three songs like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, a couple of them are like super well known. But when they get you, what does that mean? You like take it down or we'll, we'll It's just sue? like they're legal. So team? like one of them, I guess I shouldn't go too in detail in case yeah, they yeah, forgot yeah. something. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, snitching yourself out. Yeah. I got one with this one. I got one with Foreigner Journey. Usually they're 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 either really cool about it or not cool at all. Like I've also just trying to clear samples. Like once now that I'm signed, I have to clear everything. And like sometimes Damn. you'll go and it, it, it's it's the stuff I'm uh, sampling is like it's always someone who's like in their 60s or 70s who's like either the estate of someone who passed or right. it's like oh, the fuck. remaining person who is just like made what soul music. What happens if you sample somebody who passed away? 
There's their, it's their family. Their family has like the rights or whatever. Damn, and then the, and then the label does too. So there's like two people you got to confirm with. It's all this. That's why a lot of my stuff is just like we recreate the sample or oh, like just do stuff smart. original. And then they're but, just looking at it like, oh, yeah. fuck, we can't do anything. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So like there's like songs from like the 40s that I've sampled, like 70s, like all over the map where like I've either gotten them cleared or they've gotten away with it. And then entertainment and like more recent stuff is su usually super hard to clear yeah but then always saucy i mean always sunny that song we made is called always saucy uh i had that sitting for like a year and a half with my boy trippy and we were like it's not gonna clear let's just put it on soundcloud and yeah. then we went to them and they like gave us like a ridiculous deal instantly said it was cool that's so tight. i don't know so I when think it does work the, out it I, does yeah and i thought maybe it was like a different musician and that the show just used it but i'm pretty sure they made it for the show so the yeah, show yeah. themselves Whoever's behind that actually like oh, that's was awesome. down with it. Damn, that's tight yeah. as fuck. Dude, I got a weird question. You probably get this a lot, but I need to know just from a rapper. You ever like make a song and you're like, this is fire. And then you put it out and everyone's like, boo. Because that happens so much or in trash. the comics. Or like this, the songs that you don't think are going to hit, right, hit right, the hardest. Right, right, in reverse. Yeah, yeah. Because like that was so sketch much. comedy in, in the videos Ooh. I put. Yeah, yeah. It's like the more I like a video, the harder mm. it's going to flop. But like the ones that I spent 30 minutes on, like the White Claw one that blew up, oh, right, I spent right. 30 minutes making it with Ryan. And then the internet's like, this is your best work. And you're like, this shit? This is your best. Yeah. No, but I. Like, uh, everything that's pop, were you like, oh, I knew that'd pop? Yeah, no, I definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. yeah no, no. Comedy is just, y'all just ain't fun. <laughs> yeah, y'all just don't, just don't, don't hit every yeah. time. The problem is talent. Y'all got, got no talent. That's Damn. No, I, I feel like, no, whenever I put out a project, I'll like, you always have a couple you know, but then like, I mean, I just dropped an album uh, that has like 13 songs on it. And Gasanova out now. Gasanova's uh, out now. Um, and I'd say there's like three on there where it's like you have to kind of like plan ahead of time. Like when you pick like the track listing and all that, like order, even the order is going to affect it, you know? Yeah, like that is. Whatever one you click on first and, and whatnot. So I, there's probably like three songs on there where I was like, yo, these are going to go up. And the rest of them, I was just like, maybe. And yeah. then the one that's popping the most is called, right now is called Oops. And that was one of the maybes. Like I literally thought about dropping it. And that really? was, that's what I'm so talking yes, about. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I feel a little better about oh, myself. Me too. I thought you were like, no, I know <laughs> it's like, fire. What do you I mean? Know what yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get what you're saying. No, no, I'd, I'd say in the, in the Flop, past. never heard of it. Yeah, yeah no, in, in the past, I, I definitely have had a good record of like, oh, this is fire. It's going to go up. And then, yeah. but then, yeah, there's also the random, random ass ones. Like, well, my yeah. biggest song, Mr. Clean, I did not think was going to get big. Right. Okay. And Thank you. I, I feel so much better. Yeah. Yeah. did not put much time into it at all. And it is like still my biggest one. But my second biggest one thought, two thought. You did that I, at my show. That shit was yes. fucking so tight. Yeah, I brought yeah, him out yeah. in Atlanta. That was yeah. after the first episode, right? The first podcast? Yeah, that was yeah, definitely yeah, more yeah, recent. Yeah, so, yeah, so it was so funny. We were both in Atlanta at the same time, and then we were kicking it the night before. We went, he took me to the strip club. Where, yeah, that was uh, such a good time. Bro, what was that place called? He uh, took me to a strip club. Claremont like, Lounge. Was, I'm, I'm banned for life, but I got, was, we, was, we snuck in there. <laughs> it, this is a great place. So well, hold on. It, was, it was half karaoke, half strip club. People were just huh? singing their hearts out with tits on the side. Huh? Man, dude, if, if you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about with this shit. But so like, people were just singing Brian McKnight in the corner and, while well, there's like 11 tits just bouncing. Yeah, people 11, left 11, People left 11 getting 11 motorboated tits. to be like, oh, my turn's up. I got to go. I'm uh, singing Boys and Men. When you said 11, I'm pretty sure they have, it's like a kind of a novelty strip club. I'm pretty sure they have a stripper there with three tits. I think that might be one of the things. Just so when you, you said eleven, but yeah. I think you like you might be onto something because bro, you saw the, like the like the huge titty stripper that does the dance. He paid stuff. for a, a yeah, lap dance did. for me. Okay, and this girl goes, "I'll oh, come over here, right?" And she had the biggest breasts I've ever seen in my life, and it was like I've never smiled ear to ear so much because she's like, "Go ahead, and, like motorboat." And I was like, "For me?" And then I was just going in there back and forth. <laughs> Hold on, if she's saying motorboat, see. Uh you don't you don't think you're just gonna HPV on your face? I don't give a fuck. You don't care, bro? Huh? No, she's a, so she's. I, I knew that woman too because I she had definitely watched me get kicked out in the past and had like given me the the same titty treatment in the past. Yeah. So I was like, yo. But it's that's so funny. He was sending, yeah, he was him, sending yeah. like me and his other friends over like a proud dad. He's like, sure, I'm a good time. <laughs> yeah. And she was so nice. Yeah. But we went to that the night before, and then afterwards, I was like, yeah, I got this show out this theater. I forget what it was called, but. Um, I was like, you come out, do a song, come, and it'll be, it'll be funny. And then we don't plan it. And then 20 minutes before the show, he was like, ah, oh, should I pull up? Like, how are we going to make it work? I was like, I don't know. But I just told the guy oh, running yeah. the sound booth, I was like, yeah. hey, this guy might come. If he does, play the song, and you'll know he'll come through that entrance. And I look yeah. over, and then he's on the side stage. And then I was like, uh, all right, guys, I got, I got a, a friend of mine. He's 
he's a new comedian. He wants to try a joke. That's hilarious. And then you came up and told like yeah. uh, like some like some just like random joke, and then they like played it, and then they played one thought, two thought, and I was just yeah, oh, no, oh, I was, you did a bit. He, yeah, he, no, I, he, he, I said he did some, like a joke real quick. I forget what it was. It was a cute little joke. It, it was, was like please, like a laughy you know type joke. It was something about uh. Is it about octopuses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah my yeah, go-to yeah. joke. All right, I was gonna say something. Send a video, anyways, if someone has one. Yeah, but, I think somebody out there does. I'm not um, too. How do you make an octopus laugh? I don't know. Ten tickles. Ten tickles. Tentacles. Ten tickles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. That's, that's like, been my one in the back of my head but for like, years. Yeah. In case you got to tell a joke. But you like know? you walked out like a shy like comedian and then like said it and then the song dropped and then like people just started standing up because like people in Atlanta really know this guy so like yeah this song was like fucking going on it was so funny it was when like you came out like a shy person time. they knew who you were or yeah you I came out like, shy and like tried to act kind of awkward and I yeah. felt like people were like. Yeah, I mean, people, people recognize yeah. it, but yeah, no, they definitely. Yeah, but then they played it. the song, and it was so funny, and yeah. it was just like, it was cool to do something like that, and then just like go. It was weird to go from like that song to me being like, ah, so my dick, and then you're like, <laughs> right, yeah. wait, how far into your set? This is like thirty minutes in. So oh. he did that, and then I like did like fifteen more minutes, but like, it was just funny. But it as worked fuck. out it nicer worked out, than yeah. I expected. Yeah, it, it was like like not really concert audio speakers yeah like, there's no agenda just people are sitting down but they got they got into it they got into people it. were into yeah. it like people in the back were like cell phone waving and shit i fucking yeah. love some this. girl threw a dildo on stage it was crazy huh? nah it was <laughs> let me ask you corn, this but. question really quick just about the atlanta scene obviously you know it so well what the fuck is it about uh like djs in it like strip club djs in atlanta having the ability to like play a track and they get massive from Dude, it's like that. that's like, what, like the what biggest cosign it sounds like if your music yeah. is played in atlanta strip clubs like you're on your way up yeah and i i don't totally get the connect of like how okay. like if you're in the strip club you're like i don't know if you're mentally shazamming that song you know while you're getting a lap dance but somehow right. i know that magic city mondays is like when if you get your music played there that's how you know it's like real big top Damn. dog shit that's what i can tell and you. like you um, played there no, I've been there like I've been there a few times and yeah, heard that's like the, the shit. Place, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's just like it's like whoever's DJing there and whoever's in there is just like there's enough people in the music industry that it's like they'll hear it, I guess, and oh, they'll yeah, kind of know. You know sense. what I'm saying? Okay. And yeah. then you you said you try to not only say that you can never go back to uh, the oh Claremont club. Lounge. Yeah. yeah. What you know? I just I, I I'm I'm kind of beyond <laughs> the 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 sort of fighting and and extra phases. But I used to just like always want to just like get drunk and just you know you know how some some males are I bro just, i was the same way yeah i would just like uh, yeah i'm still like that. i was yeah. all talk but I, I i got punched in the face by three different bouncers my whole nice. life so no, i don't I, do well like i'm all bluff and yeah. then they see through my bluff obviously that, that's me too but like with bluff plus height and then like i, I have a good record just because I, I i'm good at like one punch and then if like if they make it through the first one then then i'm kind of done for so, so, <laughs> so i've had i mean i've had good luck because usually that'll, that'll do it yeah but, one punch but, pete they call you God damn. Guys, what is good? Halloween is coming. You know what that means? Y'all about to get hammered a little bit. And you know who's here to help you get away from your Sunday scaries? DHM Detox, bro. No Days Wasted is here to help you maximize life's moments, bro. DHM Detox is the vitamin for people who like to enjoy their drinks. Tens of thousands of people are using DHM Detox as their drinking buddy. It's time to start taking care of yourself and thinking about the next day. Enjoy your drinks, forget about Sunday scaries, and feeling like garbage. DHM Detox uses science. Guys, as you know, this is a science podcast to help boost your body's natural response to alcohol and help break down those disgusting toxins. Take two capsules after your first couple of drinks and it goes to work. They come in convenient packets that are easy to share with friends and family while you're celebrating or socializing. DHM Detox is a risk-free purchase. So, if you aren't satisfied after taking the product, they will give you your money back. Huh? Money back? That's a no-brainer. So, at the very least, give it a shot and you'll get a refund if you don't love it. And we'll give you 20% off your order and free shipping in the U.S. Just head over to nodayswasted.co slash socks and use promo code SOCKS at checkout. That's nodayswasted.co slash socks. Use promo code SOCKS at checkout to get 20% off your first order. Guys, go do it. God damn. So we. This is just a funny question. It was it's good timing on it, but like somebody wrote in and they oh, were yeah. like, uh, "Gabe, how does it go?" Somebody wrote in and was like, "Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so, uh, yeah, so this is from uh, Joey Johnson, who says, uh, we have, we asked you on Gravy to talk about the time that he got in a fight at Iowa State. My sister knows the guy who Gravy beat the fuck out of. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, I, I, yeah. you know, I, I hope he's doing well. Iowa State, shout out. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the dude's name. It's is like, that a big vouch to be like, hey, you know who I got my ass kicked by? I in, think it is, In right? Iowa, yes. Yeah. In Iowa, yes. Yeah, no, I remember he was, or they, his crew, I guess. Anyone who knew the dude was flexing about it. I kept getting tagged, but anyways. Um, is there a video of this? Because I saw a video. There's a video that's somewhere. Because I saw a video yeah. of this, uh, of like some shit. I've seen some really funny edits of it too. Where that, well, like, that's yeah. why I saw it. I think you okay, shared yeah. one. It's like you like going with this like fucking over somebody like haymaker. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, it's hilarious. Basically, it like Mario yeah. or some shit. So I was, uh, I was in college. Uh, I went to Wisconsin and it's, you know, Turn close up. to Iowa. And uh, this girl uh, invited me to her formal there. Iowa State, not, uh, it's in a Ames, Iowa. And and you, at this point, were you rapping yet or no? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why they that's show why show they, the face rapper or before. Yeah, the yeah. Face? I had showed my face as a rapper, but it was like pretty. Yeah, it was like right in the beginning of that. Especially sure. that college buzz is, is crazy. You like because I I even had a vine that went big in college, and people were like, oh, hey, Mr. Mm -hmm. and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. like that call the college level of like stardom is so low. Yeah, you know? exactly, like, exactly. You're in the school paper, and some girls like, I'll give you a hand job right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So so it's your so professor. Into yeah, so in the hand jobs. I, Sorry. I don't know. I'm trying to recall how it all started, but I swear I got into this formal thing. It's like a big ballroom and it's fancy and whatever. I, well, my boy that I was roommates with came too because his, his girlfriend knew the girl I went with. Anyways, um, the bathroom just gets like full of people. Like, I don't know why. I'm just in there to take a piss and there's just a shitload of people. Some kids yelling and like says some. It was like within, I swear to God, I was in the building for 15 minutes, like max. And then this occurred. So this dude, like, just like was yelling at different people being an idiot and yelled some shit at my friend, some racial, I don't even remember exactly what he said, but I just was like, I was like, yeah, sh like shut the fuck up. Like got in his face, I was like shut the fuck up. Like don't say anything again. And then he swung on me like instantly. <laughs> Which uh, sounds about yeah. right for a guy yelling racial stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then and then I just, just the video is really funny because it's like a bunch of these like, like really white Iowa frat dudes that are all like, ah, fuck, what the fuck is happening? The audio oh, yeah. in the back is like, Oh my God, there's some kid going like, Tanner. There's, there's some audio where it's like, what the fuck is going on? It's, it's like hilarious. so funny, but it's just, I just took the dude like right into the stall and just did the, it was like a swirly of hands. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was just shit. like, swirly of took, hands. took dude out. And then I was pissed off too. It was like, you can just see it in my face in the video. I'm like all red face, like completely serious. Like, I don't even know, bro. Like yeah. you, you can see it in my eyes in that video. But then, so then I ran off uh, after that happened. Cause like, Everyone is like tweaking out. I, I ran off outside. There's blood everywhere, uh, and blood went hit. You must have hit the fuck out of this. It guy. was oh yeah, it was it was aggressive. <laughs> and I, I, I went. It's not good. It was not yeah. good. Yeah. I went into the um, woods with like my date. And we're like hiding back there, and huh? I we, we watched the guy. You beat the fuck what? out of him that bad. You're in the woods and then ran away because yeah, I, I guess everyone was like, we, right as I walked out of the bathroom, people are already tweaking out. I'm like, okay, so we go to bad. bury a body. So we go into the woods, and then I'm like hiding there with with the date and like <laughs> watching like police coming and shit, and the kids getting arrested, and I'm like. Nice, like, Hell yeah. all right, we took care of him. Dude, can you imagine from the outside, the people that weren't, that didn't know what was happening, just watching you all bloody walk into the woods? Oh, was, like, I mean, what the fuck I, is going on? I very casually just walked from the bathroom to the front and like people weren't, own weren't really like, yeah, people weren't really tripping. And then I was in the woods for probably like 15 minutes. My date was like, oh, we're fine. Let's go back. Cause it was kind of quiet. Shout then, out to her. What a date. Nah, I well, love this girl. Yeah. Nah, I mean, yeah. She's but down for the count. Yeah. I did, but then we went back and then like the second I turned the corner, she just like, there's a cop right there. I got arrested. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, brought the jail. And then the, the ending of the story is, is a happy one. Cause, cause. Oh, hell yeah. I was like, I, oh fuck. I, I get brought to, story. yeah, no, I get brought to the Nevada, Iowa. Nevada, Iowa is the city and uh, to the jail there. And like, I Me and dude are kind of getting processed together and he's like around the corner uh, of this like little wall thing. Um, and they, they, they gave me, they locked my hands up, but they didn't take my phone. So I'm like in there, like just fucking around on Instagram, <laughs> put it on my, on my young gravy story. I like filmed the dude's face and I was like, ha ha. Like I just beat the shit out of this kid, put a video up on my story. And he was like, fuck you, man. Like, oh Tag my God, me. <laughs> like, like tweak. <laughs> he's just tweaking. Give me a clout. He's just tweaking. And then, um, Whatever, I, I end up in there for like a couple hours. And then these three or four dudes um, who had seen, I, I'm telling you, I was like not popping at the time. I probably had like 
less than 30K followers on Instagram or something yeah. like that. These kids that were fans that happened to live like close by saw my story and came through. No. And then at three in the morning, so I had one phone call, called the date. She did not come through whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I hate this girl. Yeah, 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 no, we're, yeah. we're back. We're she, back. She didn't really do, what do, a thriller, though. do anything right that night. Uh, and then. Um, <laughs> it sounds like she was sort of involved because she was the one that's taking out of the woods. Be like, no, come on. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. We're good. Yeah. 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 She was, yeah, let's go dance. She's, involved, involved, right she's plotting. She's plotting. She's wearing a wire. Any, anyways, I'm, I'm in the. Uh, the cell with like my four cellmates who were all like nice fellas. We were making fun of the other dude, like flicking him off and like just the little kid type shit. Was that other guy in the same cell? Different cell. cell. It's like right next Different to us. Different right across. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Damn. And then uh, anyways, some, the, the guard walks in and he's like, is there a, is there a little gravy in here? And I was just like, <laughs> like who, who did it? Who did it? And then it's these four random dudes I never met. Yeah. Uh, they so came they, through. They, they post your bail? They post my bail. 300 bucks. Uh, That's it? The bail was only 300 bucks? It was like, huh? I think at that time they didn't have, like, it wasn't like assault yet. So, so I first of all. Assault yet. <laughs> first, first of all, they paid 300 bucks. The guys got their money back and I brought them out to a show. Great fellas. Shout out to them. But Damn, then. 300 bucks? That's crazy. But, but whatever the charge was at that time, they got me out of it. And then it got switched to assault because the dude cried to somebody oh so i got a, an assault charge and i don't know what he got but then i got a lawyer who was just handled shit just a beast and yeah. he now i have a charge in iowa for um petty, petty misdemeanor for creating a raucous noise that's kind of creating a raucous yeah it's like it's the fanciest word i've ever heard to yeah. say i beat somebody's I beat ass yeah, 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 yeah raucous noise i was just like oh, all right that's like you can tight. do that in a lot of ways are you raucous. allowed in iowa still or no Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I've done. He just, he just made a shows. ruckus. Yeah, that's all. You're allowed in places if you only make a ruckus. Yeah. Dude, three hundred bucks. Can you pay your own bail if you're like, yo, officer, I'll you Venmo you right now. You can't. That's a fucked up. You can't part. pay your own bail. No, it's got to be like a homie. Yeah. What? And I'm pretty sure it has to be cash or it was like or a check in person. Like, yeah. You can't, like, yeah. The jail system is mad outdated. They'll be like, yeah, we need yeah. a cashier's check. Huh? Let me just Venmo you. <laughs> yeah. Let me send you some snap yeah. cash. What the fuck's difference between a money order and cashier's check? Someone explain it to me. Cashier's check is just like it's a check that can't bounce. It's like this is like right. money, money. Right, like, word, but isn't it the same thing as a money order? Any, I don't, I don't really know what get. a money order is. I think that shit sounds sketchy. Anytime somebody asks for a money yeah. order, I'm like, all right, you, you know yeah. the dark arts. Money order, exactly. Western Union. I was Western just going to say, Western Union, JPay, Moneymaker, all is kind of like in the same. Yeah, wiring. I don't know how to wire money at all. But I don't, think, like, I don't yeah, think you wire do me it. some money. I don't think you do it anymore. I no. wire, I wire, I wire. You it's, wire? It's, it's easy, yeah. My, my business manager does. Well, the business I thought manager that was easy. Yeah, yeah, They just go back and forth. On my own, I was up at like 4 a.m. on YouTube, like how to wire money. I was like, this is not where I belong. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to pay somebody twenty five dollars, you know. Hold on, I don't like this business manager wiring things. Yeah, I don't trust anyone. Who's I? I didn't until okay. until now. I have it so nice. I have a guy where like anything happens, I'll just be like, "Yo, car, car, someone crashed my car." How's it go, Brian? And like, oh, this is great. Yeah, you got a Brian. Oh, like, yeah, I got a I Brian. Got a Brian. I need a Brian. It's yeah. like Sun Country Airlines doesn't take my business card. I'm like, yo, Brian, I had to use my my debit. Like, can you? charge this as a business expense. It's nice. Yeah. I got that too. It's oh amazing. yeah, you got him. Yeah, what, yeah, what's yeah. your guy's name? Kevin? I got a Brian and a Joe. You have a Brian? Yeah, I got a Brian. I got a Brian and a Carmen. Mm -hmm. Damn. Carmen or Carmen? You got to use a Brian. Carmen. I don't trust anyone. No, it's great because like they look at my taxes and write everything off that's like that, that's like an expense. No. Nah. And I don't know how to do all that shit. I'll be writing off like C's candy. I'll be like, oh, I was low on sugar on the road. Yeah. But this is how much I don't trust people. I literally would rather just do a bunch of research. Nah, it's too stressful. And I agree, but I don't know. That was stressful. my approach at first. And then like, same, yeah. I was right. Like, I did my first tour, and then you have to do your taxes in Connecticut and do your taxes every in state, Florida. Every state, if and you're do a touring your taxes act, in Delaware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. then once I, because like the year before that, I had like one or two out of show shit. And then last year, I did like fucking like 12 different states, and then I had mm -hmm. to file for each one. I was like, this is too much. Yep. You here, you alone, whatever fee you take is worth it for these taxes. Yep, and if you get a foreign tour, ooh, it's just there's so many sheets. Like, I'll get like, you need a foreign, Brian? Brian. Or you no Brian no yeah Brian Brian, Brian, Brian can international yeah. oh yeah, yeah he's missing worldwide you'd think Pitbull is nah yeah. Brian Brian get yourself a Brian get yourself a Brian Gabe you got a Brian yeah, yeah I got get a Brian. you got a Brian yeah you I'm really? the only one to fuck without a Brian, a Brian yeah. I'm too much of a Jew for a Brian but that's the thing Brian Brian's is Jewish. a Jew Brian's, Brian's Jewish? Jewish absolutely I'm back in yeah, yeah. <laughs> same team here we're all, back in. we're all bad on the same team <laughs> I love it yeah no that, that, that that's wild man so that's a it was just a funny story that that came up that was like the first we wrote like young Gary in the studio today like get a question that was like the first thing somebody's like oh, i've been waiting for this moment like, that's right so here. funny hilarious yeah. man then, we got any other other questions gabriel uh yeah we got a bunch here oh shit. Um, all right pop off give me some some faves 
Uh, all right, this one's from Chris Kenyon and says, this is a question about Trevor and Gravy. Um, what's your favorite part of filming the Yup music video? Oh, that's a great question. Ooh. Wow, that's like a dedicated fan. Um, okay. It was an interesting video shoot because that was my first sh shoot I ever did during quarantine. Oh, we were yeah. like, we like had a room to hang out in and then like a sh place to shoot in and it's kind of separate, but it was, I had a good time. You know, there was a lot of friends there, a lot of pals. It was cool. It kind of came together. I like, my favorite part was at the end when that bus pulled up, like the very end, there's like, like, or this like blue kind of retro anchor bus. Yeah. And we, we did that walk when we're all walking down like that flying V formation. I was like, that's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a dope cast. It was like, Lennar was in it. He's funny as fuck. And then Wayman from Workaholics. You yeah. ever watch the show? Mm -hmm. He was like in mm -hmm. it. It was just like a, it was just such a good cast, you know? You know, Wayman volunteered for the shoot. Like the really? guys who were filming it, like put out like sort of like a casting call thing. And then Wayman from Workaholics volunteered himself. And really? I was like, I thought you yes. like oddly had like some weird ass yeah. ties. Rappers always know like random ass people. Yeah. And that's what I would. Yeah. I mean, like I probably would have ended up getting someone Wayman-esque if, if yeah. I, he didn't volunteer. But I was like, hell yeah, we want Wayman. That was perfect. Yeah. He snapped. Yeah, yeah, it was, was, it was a good, good set of people. Yeah, Whatever I'm cool. looking right now, yeah, it was a good. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want, man. We got three cameras. Yeah. Like whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, we had a, we had a good time. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, uh, Gravy, most insane thing that's happened on a music video shoot. Uh, good one. Did you have uh, Brandy Love in some yeah. shit? Yeah, Brandy Love. That's wild. Did you hit her up, or is she familiar? Is she a fan? Because um, I'm a fan of hers. Did you yeah. beat? She is a great. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you beat? Yes, and I'm. A, I, I'm a, <laughs> I was a fan of hers, and in the in oh the God, intro to that amazing. song, I was just shouting out milfs, and and I said Brandy Love, um, and we were shooting a video, and then I had a porn star friend who was coming, and then she was just like, it was a surprise. I got to the video oh shoot, my God. and Brandy Love I was not just like, what a surprise. Brandy Love is just, just Brandy Love is just there, like hi, and I was just like, whoa, <laughs> I know you. Hey, <laughs> yeah, how do you, it's it's a it's an odd interaction to interact with a porn star. You're like, I've I've seen every what do you say? cranny of you. Yeah, you just say, uh, man, I love your cum shots. Like, how do you? Cause yeah, because essentially, if you say I love your work, you're that's what you're saying. You're like, I yeah. love the way your vagina looks. Yeah, yeah, but I think they're so used to it, you know. But they're, yeah, they're so used to it. Yeah, they totally. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I've, I have met a lot of porn stars now, and like, I don't even remember. I don't even know how I'd probably go in for an intro at this point. Like saying I love your work, I feel like they appreciate that, you know. Yeah, uh, I think it's just it's a mutual respect. Hey, yeah. I like your music. I like your work. It's like yeah. cordial. I'm, yeah. After you meet your first porn star, you get it out of the way. Do you They're say I like your work? Do you say work? I'm a fan. I think I'd say I'm a fan. Right. Uh, I'm a fan. I think That's I think good. when I used to be on my like flirty shit, I'd be like, oh, I'm I have a crush. I'm in there love or go. some shit. You know, some like kind of. I got not, a crush. is adorable. To yeah. yeah. I haven't said that since like because it's not like Jungle Gym six weird grade, horny but, dude being like I got a crush. It's just like oh. I got a crush. It's a guy. slick sort of finesse without implying about, that you like, looked at their porn. I've jerked off a bunch to you. Thank uh, I've you also much. taken that approach. I've also taken <laughs> that approach, and it depends on the Works? person. Yes, depends oh. on the person. Yes. You got to feel the vibe. That's got to be like your fifth sense out the mouth. You Let, can't be like right off top with that. Let me ask you, you this, like, How's your day? Eggs Benedict, pretty good. Yeah, you got a spot for your Tesla. That's awesome. Also, I've jerked off to you a bunch. Yeah. Ease it in. Can I ask you this, guys? Do you know when it shows laughter, applause for you, Mr. Gravy? Do you think jerking off to a porn star is essentially standing ovation, standing ovation or laughter when you're a comic? It's same thing, yeah? Because that's sort of the that's sort of the point of porn is to is to make a thing so a guy or a girl can watch it get horned up and jerk off. So essentially saying I've jerked off to you a bunch is essentially being like I'm laughing at your joke or I'm giving you a standing ovation after. Yeah, it's the same thing. Be like, I play your song every morning before the gym. Yeah. I, I watch mm -hmm. your video every morning before the gym. That's why I'm so weak and can't do like, you know, 25 pound bench press. I don't press. think that's mm -hmm. it. I think you're nah. just weak in You ever general. try to jerk off before the gym? It's can't. terrible. It's a good can't. time. You, oh, I, a good time. Oh, gets, yeah. you, gets you up and, I don't know, gets the blood pumping. You know what I used to I do? I feel like I lose all my testosterone. I'm you just out the water. You know what I used to do a bunch? Um, is like when I lived in New York, I would have to like shower after the gym because fucking- What know, do you mean I, you'd have to shower after the gym? Well, not because- You just not shower after the gym? No, because LA, I'm saying, it's, my bad, my bad. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me step back. Because in LA, I shower at my house. After the oh, gym. Oh, but in New York, oh, you're you saying at, at the, the gym. gym. Yeah. Oh, because you go on the subway and you smell exactly, shit. Exactly, right? Or I had other shit to do, whatever. But I used to, for like two years straight, I would like, as a reward to myself, I this would lift. some horny shit. Of course. <laughs> I would go in the bathroom. I mean, take a shower Ew. and jerk off in the bathroom with everybody, with everyone present. There was, what do, what there do you was mean? Shower what curtain. You, oh. There was uh, a shower oh, curtain. Man. That's why shower shoes are a thing. Because motherfuckers like you. Yeah. 
Uh, you should. Oh, uh, but funny, like I don't know if you're. I mean, in my twenty-four really. hour fitness, in in uh, twenty-four hour fitness has come everywhere though. That's it's what not I'm just saying. a shower. Every gym has come people everywhere. People get into that. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hour fitness? I guess I hadn't thought about that. I mean, it's 24 hours. You can go in there, hold yeah. up at 3.20 a.m. Come everywhere. Well, you go to grab a weight and you're like, damn, the grip on here is oddly, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> can't put it down, fuck. Mm. Yeah, 24 hour fitness, you'll just find like a, a, a heroin, like tumbleweed and you're like, all right. There we go. There it is, soul cycle. Uh, but what I used to do literally is because the, the fucking shower curtain doesn't close all the way, obviously. So you get this little like one inch crack on each side. So I You mastered this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You like have your cheeks like wrapped in like the you like you tuck you it know it, baby. Wait, wait, what you do you do? You tuck so, the cheeks into the <laughs> what the fuck? Room, so you know. I'm so lost you right walk, now. You walk by the shower, there's like a small little slit at no. ass level. Like, oh, he's he's <laughs> no. hiding. He's he's cloaked you up. Know what Dracula. I would do? Cloaked my up. hip, right? I would oh, I would hold the the shower curtain closed <laughs> with my hip, and then I would hold it or my I would hold it with my left. No, no, this way, this way, right? And then I hold with my left hand like this. So, but then what if somebody doesn't see you in there? Talent. No, the, the shower's going. Oh, okay. The shower's okay, going. Okay, okay, okay. Hit, well, yeah, and if it's hold it with my left. Yeah. Held and then shut. Back, it's back, like, back, yeah. Back, back. <laughs> but the, two years straight, never got caught. Or they're Killing just it. like, I don't, they know what's going on in there. Probably. Yeah. You're yeah, moaning. Respect, yeah. Oh, Jeez. yeah. I'm like, ah. They're my like, pecs are so sore. showers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking passionate about showers. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, people jerk off on the subway, though, too. People just, everywhere it has been jerked off in, in New York. Yeah. Central Park. Not sub the subway fucking. I think I told this story before when I saw two uh homeless people fucking. You on the never subway. told me that. Gr yes, I did. I don't think so. That's yes. romance. The D train. Fuck with that. I love From when people can just get it off. Like if you if you're feeling yeah. it in public, feeling in public. That's baby. what I'm saying. It's like, well, I was on the 125th train to 59th Street and it's an express, so it's like about six minutes. Oh, that's enough time. So you can't get off, but what? they were getting off. Oh, okay. Oh, I, can get okay. Off okay. I can get off. Hey, huh? Magic City. Yeah, the conductor's like, your next stop is uh, Pleasure Town. <laughs> <laughs> next stop is. Uh, like, but it does was, anybody break was, it up? Or was you just it lit? Like, like, was it. Bro. Were there tits out and stuff? Let me or? ask you. No, no, no. There was no, there was no tits out. They were, they were like, you know, they, they didn't have a home. They were crackheads or, or yeah, but, people. What does that have to do with tits out? Um, I don't, don't know. You don't have tits anymore. There's, there's a point. You oh, hit. shit. Where? Yeah, you do enough coke, coke, crack. You just. You tits Deviated septum tits. Yeah. Yeah. Areolas on the ground. Um, but no, it was uh, the dude had his pants on his knees, and the woman was sort of in a doggy style. They had positions, and the woman's in the do in the doggy style, and I don't. And they just they were just going at it like I respect it. Was, it. And that's what I'm saying. I wasn't even grossed out. I was like, "Yo, get it, get yeah, it, fucking yeah, get it." Yeah, you try to fuck me, and I might be like, "All right, let's go on a date first. Let me there get some go. tea and crumpets." But yeah, like, if bring you just, me the red lobster. But if you're minding your own business, you know, that's what I'm saying. Was I, there I, I people like? Was it packed enough where they were like? Shoulder to shoulder with no, no, it wasn't no. super packed. It was it was on the later side. It was maybe like one a.m. Oh, so there was man. definitely people in there. Uh, what if it was just you and them, and you had to be like, uh, "I love your work." <laughs> <laughs> I started singing yeah. one. It's like a dream yeah. come well, Also, true. like, what do you? I mean, that's yeah, just I started a, playing phone like music off my phone for sure. I started. Yeah, playing you, some, you can set the mood oh, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candle or two. Yeah, you have a note or two. Yeah. Everyone's comfortable then. You dim you know? the lights a little bit. Yeah. Hilarious. You can't even dim. You just fucking break the light. But I'd rather somebody be making love in the back of a subway than being like, hey, I'm going to sell you some shit. I'm like, nah. Because you're making love to yourself. If you're yelling out just pyramid schemes of what I should be buying from you, nah. Everything that happens on a subway, I would prefer that over everything else. <laughs> yeah. when, you know when the, the people come up when, the, when you're stuck in there and they start dancing and they almost hit you in the head? Get out of here. Get out of here. And then, and they, first of all, they disrupt your whole fucking, they, your whole afternoon. And then they go around and be like, you want to give me a dollar? For what? Destroying my afternoon? I'm trying to read a book and I well, can't read. Well, that's the thing. He's like, this is New York. Ain't no reading here, bitch. Break dance. Kick your book out of your hand. I thought that book I've just goes so many, flying. I've yeah. seen so many people get hit in the head. Like get kicked in the head. <laughs> well, it's it's wild. the funniest You have thing. to just pretend nothing is going on. You're yes. like, oh, I had no idea there was a, a 14 people break dancing in front of me. Yeah, it's I had break no dancing. idea. You're just reading a book. You pretend nothing's happening. That's I'll wild. tell you the worst ever is a mariachi band. Stop it. That's tight. I like it. It's music. It's ambiance. Absolutely not. Well, there's no Wi-Fi down there. You can't listen to your own music. Too loud. Too loud. Can you be like, guys, sensitive eardrums? I, no. There's there's seven of them, and they're playing mariachi. Some actually is fire. Some, sometimes you run into something oh, they, like- they do a full the mariachi band? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But some, some mariachi bands actually, like, it's, it's yeah, really I saw, good. I saw a guy the other day. I was driving through the, the Malibu Canyon. There was a guy just pulled over, full on drum set, just drumming. Just drumming. I love that. Uh, uh, yeah, it was so, I was, I was just like, do people pull over and listen or is he just getting some anger out? Yeah, because it's like at a point where like you can't really enjoy You couldn't it. hear it. You, like you, you drive by he, and he was just going at it. And it was like one of those little like dirt turn-ins, not yeah. much space. So like you pull up and then you just listen for a little bit, put a dollar and then go. I was like, all right, man, you could go to the same. It's like you like promenade. risk your, like a, you risk getting hit type shit Literally. If, if, if you stop to listen. Which would be yeah. the worst slash funniest noise getting hit by a drum set. <laughs> <laugh
But I was just like, good for you, man. But that's like, I didn't get a chance to listen. You just drive by. You're like, is that guy motherfucker? And then you just yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep driving. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, this next sponsor is Blue Chew. God damn. If you want your dick to scream, God damn, you got to get on Blue Chew. Let me tell you something. I've done Blue Chew, oh, I don't know, 5, 10, 150 times. My dick gets hard like a Rottweiler. Doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Yo. Uh, you want to hear some science? I, dude, this is a science podcast, so hit it to me. Uh, so Blue Chew is, brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Vi- Viagra and Cialis. Is that the stuff that gets your dick hard like a Rottweiler? Yep, that's the stuff. God damn. And listen. I know going to the doctor and saying that you got a soft dick is weird, okay? But this is what Blue Chew does for you. You go online. They have licensed physicians online, okay? And they send it to your door in a discreet package. Not a package that says, hey, I have soft dick, okay? It says, yo, just a brown package. It could be Amazon Prime. It could be a pizza. It doesn't matter. All you know is when you open it up, Hard dick. Let me tell you something, okay? And, and let out, okay. You know what we're going to do for y'all? Stiff socks listeners, okay? Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free. Huh? Free. Huh? When you use our special promo code SOCKS. Just pay $5 for shipping. Again, that's bluechew, B-L-U-E, chew.com, promo code SOCKS, and try it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 for shipping and get a heart. God. <clears throat> God damn. Yeah, it's like a, a marketing major. Sometimes I'll see like things like that. Where I'm like, yo, vision. I, I want to help you out. Like oh, I want to yeah. like, maybe we could relocate this. We could rebrand a little bit, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you see like a, you know, like a homeless Santa person, a nod, you know? like having like a joke on there where it's like a joke isn't really hitting. Like, let's, yeah. let's re- let's re- Or they're like, this. why yeah. lie? I need a beer. You're like, all right, it's funny, but let's mm-hmm. Have you ever seen the punch me in the face for a dollar? I've seen kick me in the nuts on Venice Beach. Yo. Well, I mean, you got to be creative. There's so many people in Venice that are trying to get your attention and money. You're like, yo, kick me in the dick for a dollar. And then you're a fucking 17 year old kid yeah. fresh off of Monster Energy. And you're like, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> dick, I mean, dollar alliteration. Uh, I like it. But dude, fuck. How is nuts? You can only go to work like once a year. But you might be wearing a cup. See, that's that's oh, the, that's the yeah. thing. You wear a cup, kick me in the dick for a dollar. Get, get fucking kick. I'd be like, okay. yeah, yeah. Let me change shoes. Let me get some Timberlands on. Gravy, let me ask you this. You ever like, uh, you, you've been in New York a bunch, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, just a, a lot of people on, in the subway, not in the car, but the actual subway when you're waiting for the train. Um, you've seen some, some musicians who are like fucking amazing, like mm-hmm. talented, right? Mm-hmm. So my question to you is, have you ever have you ever like seen someone and been like, yo, I, I want you to help me with a song. Not help me, but just like, I want you to accompany me with a song or whatever. Does that, does that like, does that well, happen actually, as much as they think it does? What probably doesn't happen as much, but I, I like, I'd be the, the one, I, there was a time when some chick was playing a harp and like I approached her and there was like, I kind of was trying to give off like a yo, like, or I, I went in there with that say, with that exact intention. Like, yo, I want to like get you, help like sample you, you or help you out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think she didn't get what I was trying to say and she kind of made it weird. And I like, she made, she made me make it weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, hate that. I went well, in she was like, like playing while trying to talk to you. And she's like, no, just tip me. And you're like, yeah. oh, what? Yeah. And it was definitely like, like the type of situation where all of her money was invested in this harp. And I was like, you're like, I could totally help you out. Like, I'll, I don't know. But she was just like, didn't get it and didn't like me and felt weird after. Yeah. I mean, cause I feel like they never, the only time they encounter that is when, when they're like, what do you want from me? Like, yeah, they, she probably thought I motive. was like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah, she yeah. thought I was like just another hustler trying to, but you were trying to, you yeah. trying to get a sample. Yeah, that's real. Because like, there's more scummy sick. people out there in the cool world shit, than there is yeah. good people. Because she's probably just like, what does the guy want from me? But in reality, you're like, no, I could actually help. Yeah, because I see that. I see that all the time in, in uh, the promenade too, where I'm like, somebody's dude, amazing, person, like, like yeah. amazing, amazing, like someone but signed this person right now. So I always wonder, like, someone who has the ability to maybe not sign, but like has the ability to like huge vouch or be like, yo, come on my song. I always just wondered if that actually mm-hmm. but you know the best case scenario is for the super performer is a viral video somebody like take a video Word. of you and like of her playing the harp and then it pops on twitter and like who is this we gotta find her and then some record label's like you're tight deal yeah mason ramsey blew up in fucking uh walmart you should get mason ramsey on track that's right he signed to caa right. who the fuck the yodeling kid oh shit. how does that shit go yeah mason ramsey the yodeling. Yeah, that's the best I could. That's I couldn't, couldn't couldn't think of the word yodel. And Imagine him at a I bar in like ten years. Right he's like, yeah, bitch, I'm a yodeler, and just, just yeah. Well, it. I mean, yodeling. I can't remember the song. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I remember him being fire. He got no, he's a lot tired. of love. He he got on he like came out he, got on a, he was on a song with uh, Young Thug. Was he? Really? That's, that's all you need. He was. They did the remix of Old Town Road, and they had the different horses. There's yeah. a little a little blonde horse next to Young Thug's green horse. Yep. 
That's all you need. Yeah, you like have young thugs on track. You can cut anybody in line forever. Mm-hmm. Dude, I saw this guy in the promenade, this like young kid, maybe like seven, eight, like killing the drums, absolutely killing them. There was a large group of people, and he needed to take. He like got up to take a break, and his dad was like one of those fucking like Tiger Woods' dad. And he was uh, he like literally the kid got up to take a break, and he was like because there were so many people around that he didn't like the dad was like no get the, like I saw the dad yeah, get the yeah, fuck yeah. I'm like yo what the fuck. That's just too much. Like, like the soccer coach this, dad is yes. just like super. Well, same with like actor uh, parents that are for like their kids. You're, the parents for the actor kids is fucking like, you've been in audition rooms where like the room next to me is going out for yes. some commercial on these kids. And the mom's like, okay, Jeffrey, get your, your hair, your hair's a mess. Oh, da, 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 da. It's fucking... like, put the motherfucker in school. He, he doesn't have play friends. soccer. Yeah. He doesn't want to audition for a Pepto-Bismol commercial, yeah. Debbie, you fuck. Just, uh, soccer. You tell your kids, like, all right, kid. You're gonna audition for Wheat Thins today, and then tomorrow you have one for Petco. When do I get to play patty cake with my friends? Fuck your friends. This pays ten k. You have no friends. Do you want to go to college, Kevin? You fucking bitch. That's so wild. I've always wondered how like the really young kids can end up like having being so good at acting and like, like like if they like I'm like oh that kid is really showing some emotion right now. It's like yeah, maybe I'm their mom is wrong. on set like literally roasting them for something. Just like holding up their <laughs> Game Boy and like lighting it with a torch yeah. and the kid starts crying. Yeah, you know? they're literally the roasting is You so wanna fun. play Fortnite? <laughs> the roasting is so funny. He's like, he's, the little kid's doing like a Tom Cruise movie and he has to get emotional and his, and his mom's in the corner like, yeah, your fucking eyes suck. <laughs> you want dessert? You want yeah. dessert after yeah. this? Well, yeah. you're not gonna get it, you bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I feel like, yeah, in some cases it might, it might be what it comes to, you know? Cause like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what type of acting practice these kids are getting at home where they like have to cry over and Dude, over. Dude, I don't that know, but I see whenever I see like on a movie a kid that's crushing an acting, I'm like, damn, am I just trash or can I can just not cry on demand? But can the kids you, was like, how do you remember all those lines? Could you cry on demand? No. Not saying well, do it right now, but like. It, w- it would you, take me a good seven minutes. Honestly, okay. no. All I need to do is watch one of those videos of a, a veteran coming home and surprising oh, a girl yeah. on a baseball yeah. mount. Yeah. Or where like the dogs. The dog. The dog, the dog every laying time. on the veteran's like graveyard. If I can watch one of those on set, I'll, I'll, I'll give you seven tears real quick. Do you, think, do you think they do, like, when actors have to cry on a set and they're not super, like, well-versed in crying, like, do you yeah, think they ever do that? Like, so they, whip out they, do, sad? they do two things. They either give the actor, like, time to, like, emotionally prep so he so he or she will come into the scene, like, already, already like, crying. Prep. Yeah, that's right. So already, be. like, sort of, not already crying, but, like, bubbling. On the, wor- bubbling. On the verge, like, about to nut, but for your eyes. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your work. Maybe and, both. And, uh, yeah. or they use fake tears. Gotcha. Fake so they, tears. They, yeah, so there's, they, they can put, sort of, um, there's some fucking type of liquid you can put in your eyes where your eyes just start watering. Wow. So yeah. I feel like that would be, for me, I, it would be hard to, like, be on a set and have to keep doing it, you yeah. know? Yeah, well, I'll be like, this well, is you, one take. It, it, if you, <laughs> it's just like everything else though. If you if you practice, if you practice like emotionally prepping, you can bring yourself to any emotion pretty fast. It just takes a lot of practice. Yeah, I just imagine some guy crazy. with like a boomstick for sound, but it's just a fresh cut onion on the end of it, holding <laughs> over your eyes. <laughs> like, all right, for cry, and it's a, onions in the shot. <laughs> and the director's like, it's a blooming onion, Rick. He's like, I, I thought you said blooming onion. I I said, onion, onion. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. yeah, I cut an onion this morning. I, and uh, I'll tell you what, it always gets it's me a little. Like, oh yeah. I just kind of imagine this is an onion and I'm, yeah. See it? See? It's getting there. Gravy, you got it. I see. I, I just do this for a while and then I just kind of look like a bitch. Yeah. Well, you're trying to get it. That's how you start to cry? Well, if, if I'm trying to get in the in the zone. You just start blinking a bunch? Yeah, I'm just trying to get my eyes watery. Just okay. to, so they can be lubed up a little bit so they're so, familiar. Right, but here's a problem is like when you need to cry mid scene. Gravy, are you mid scene? That's are you crying or are you I'm shitting? Trying, I'm trying to. <laughs> no, I feel like some, there's some sort of correlation, I feel like, from with having to shit and cry. No? Probably. Maybe. Oh, maybe we should talk about that because absolutely not. I've had, to, I've had to pee <laughs> I mean, so bad. I guess I was just trying. trying to like force my body to do something and it was kind of a blend. You know what I mean? When you, uh, not, not that I just shit, but I was just like, you saw me. I was. You can shit, dude. We got no problem. Right. We'll yeah. replace that chair. <laughs> um, what, so what, what's, what's the thing, if you have to cry, what's the thing you think about? I could just pull out Schindler's List real quick. Just drop a quick three hours on that. Schindler's I'd be list. good to cry for the rest of the day. Oh, uh, man. Where's that girl in the red now? She she's making moves. Where's she? She's she's out here. She's still out. Guaranteed, dude. Making you never seen cry. the movie? No, I haven't seen her, no. How many movies you've seen realistically? 17. Four? No, less. Uh probably. I don't know. Name a movie. Top seen Gun. It. I've seen Top Gun. Oh my fucking god. I remember god. watching that when I was like I was in like seventh grade and I was like, that's what an, being an American is. Watching Top Gun and yeah. feeling something. I, I haven't seen Top Gun. Remember the volleyball scene? I think I stopped watching it. I was like pissed at something and stuff. I just remember them being flying. You just stopped watching it, man. That's too manly for me. Fuck all this. <laughs> I don't remember the volleyball scenes. You, you know what I watched the other scene? night? You know what I watched? Mo- Go ahead. Borat. That shit is fucking hilarious. You know what? Two nights Never ago. seen it. It is hilarious. <clears throat> I, I had a real weird turn of events the other night. I was like, hi, with some friends, and we watched Borat, and I was geeking out, and then everyone left. 
I started watching uh, Requiem for a Dream. You seen that? Love it. That's a big transition. <laughs> it was just an came interesting just came little, a little bit. You hear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a good <laughs> It was just like, I'm really high by myself and started watching the most depressing movie ever. And like, it was just. You're like, put on, put on the funny I guy. was really into it, but no, yeah, it was just a different, it's real. Yeah. That would be a good one to pull out at a, at a if you had to cry. You ever Requiem seen that? for a Dream? Nah. Yeah. Let's no. just start with Shimmer's List and then. Yeah. Titanic, have you seen it? Uh, parts of it. It's too uh, long. What do I just know it's Jack and Rose. All I know is the part where she gets a little naked and she puts her hand on the steamy, she, they're inside of a car, fucking, and she puts her hand on the thing. Oh, God, every time I yep. think about it, I'll get hard done. That's funny if they're like, hey, can you cry on set? You're like, nah, like, can you get hard on set? Immediately. <laughs> Hell yeah, Immediately. Baby. Immediately. Just look me in the face and say, I like your work. I'll get hard. <laughs> when the lady's like, oh, we got it. You, are you, you want it? I'm like, yeah, I look down and I'm good. My I, dick's, my dick can, you know how dogs can hear like a thunderstorm coming? My dick can hear a hornet coming. Really? And she's like, Oh, we better get into it, but I don't know. Mentally, my dick's already like, we know. I felt a sensor for it. Pretty Speaking of good. using my dick, haven't used my dick. What, what do you mean? What do haven't you mean? used it. What do you mean? Haven't used it. Today? Okay. Not you today. Haven't, you haven't been a 24 haven't hour used fitness. It. I fucking yeah, where the 24 myself. hour fitness at? There's an LA fitness up the street. Would you drink off there? Uh, yeah, for money. Would you jerk off at Equinox? Yeah. Equinox, Ooh. you got to collect, you well, gotta Equinox, collect semen I can, there. I can jerk off a eucalyptus. You might get some mm -hmm. good people. You get like somebody like real fancy. You get like Dennis Rodman semen. You're like, I'm going to sell this to somebody. Did you see Dennis Rodman try to open a, try to open a, a, a shoebox? You see that? What? Went kind of viral? This motherfucker. Tried to open a shoebox? Yeah. What he opened a shoebox the most Dennis Rodman way possible. How? He didn't open just it. You know, you know, you just, you know, like, you just open it. Around the this outside. motherfucker just... just stuck his hand in the center of it and just fucking opened it. I love it. Like he's never opened a shoebox before. That's hard. Dennis. You kind of have to. I feel like he doesn't tie his shoes normal. The whole Dennis Robin story, the getting hard story, I told you this before in the podcast. This is my favorite fucking Dennis Robin story ever. You got hard. He was fucking, getting hard. A bridge version, because I think they've already heard it. Is he was fucking this girl and they were fucking super hard and she like went in a, like a different angle and his dick fucking essentially broke. Oh, oh fuck. Right? It broke. He had That'll girl. make you tear up. Oh, yeah. Tell you wreck him for a dream. God damn. Dennis Robin dick. Alliteration. Make a t-shirt. And so he had to go, he had to go to the hospital and then some, a nurse or a doctor, I can't remember, took a picture of it, obviously oh, painted, took a picture of it and then later tried to like blackmail him. Like, yeah. yo, I'm going to put your dick on the internet, whatever. And this is the dopest Dennis Rahman thing ever. He goes, okay. Hard. He didn't care. Hard. I, I mean, that's a funny, that's hilarious. That. But he's in such a, he's so, he's so himself that he's like, yeah, put my broken dick on the internet. I was like, yeah, you do it before me. I was going to do it next. I, yeah. I had a nightmare about that once and I was like, not the same in oh. bed for like six months. I remember it. I would think about it all the time. Like every I, time I'd like within six months after that, every time I'd be fucking, I'd just be like, like thinking about it. And yeah, it was like, fearful. Do, when they get on top, sometimes they get reckless. It bouncing up and down and da 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 da, 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 down. da This is not a joystick, bitch. This is a dick. <laughs> this is a dick. Yeah, yeah. No, just, I'm not into that. Yeah. And sometimes they- like, they, let, me, let me do the controlling here. I'm let not, me I don't control want the, it also. Yeah, I don't want to risk my- Sometimes they overestimate. Get a Let little bit of air in you. This ain't, this ain't the Burt 900, Tony Hawk. You gotta yeah. chill out. This ain't a Pellegrino bottle, okay? I got, yeah, listen, facts. this is six inches if it's my birthday, okay? Yeah, they're, so they're really like. Yeah, they get real lofty. Going for air. This is yeah, not, when you see air, you're like, I, there ain't no hang time here. Oh, everything yeah. goes in slow motion for me. Oh, yeah. This ain't a moon bounce. Yeah, she goes, oh, daddy, and then goes down. And, and oh. you're low key, just like acting like you're not, but you're just kind of like, 100%. Oh, like, getting yeah. in there, filling the gap, filling the yeah. gap. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah, it a, is very scary. And you're like smiling, like trying yep. to act like you're enjoying it. But you're like, oh. You just hold the hips, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Shout out to our next sponsor, Express VPN. Uh, Michael, I got a question for you. Give it to me, Gabriel. Which one of your online searches would the government have a right to know about? Uh, the feet one, the, the emo feet, or the feet, feet, inside feet? Uh, no, actually the answer is that none of those. Oh. If you have ExpressVPN. Without ExpressVPN's protection though, hackers, governments, and companies, and ISPs all have full access to your data. Huh? I don't need that. I don't want that. Too many searches that I can't have the government known. The CIA, FBI, the NBA, the MBL, whatever. Who the fuck ever. I don't want anyone to look. My mom, maybe my mom. My mom can look, but that's fine. And that's why I use ExpressVPN every time I go online so people can't look at my search history. Because it's wild. Dude, I don't even know how it works. Okay, it's a bunch of science, NASA, I don't even know, space, stars, something. But all I know is you simply download the ExpressVPN app, click to connect, and boom... You're protected. 
Uh, I can actually tell you how it works here. So okay. what ExpressVPN does is it encrypts and reroutes your web traffic to any number of countries, keeping you safer and secure. Uh, with ExpressVPN, you can even make it seem like you're browsing from a different country. So you can watch any Netflix library in the world that you huh? want. How crazy is that? What? In the damn world? ExpressVPN is the fastest VPN. It's only $7 a month and it comes with 30-day money-back guarantee. Huh? Do it. Guys, listen, protect your online activity today and find out how to get three months free at expressvpn.com slash socks. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash socks for three months free. What? Three months free with a year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash socks to learn more. Go. Well, don't go yet. Listen to the rest of the episode, but then we're done. Go. God damn. Gabe Bathon. Do we have any more questions? Yo, yeah, we got a bunch here. Uh, I want to get into this one really quick because this is a kind of speaking of uh, people fucking in the subway. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Abigail Collin wa Collins wants to know uh, what's the weirdest place Gravy's ever laid pipe? Wow. Young. <laughs> hey, young. young. I feel like you, you were like zero gravity fucking. You ever been in space fucking? I had I had this one method I created on, on a tour bus once where I had a oh. wall yes. that was in like hand reach and like a wall and like sounds really dumb foot reach. But somehow I was like levitating and I was like holding myself in the air oh, and I could like use the tour bus movement like, to like kind of swing down. It was like what? A, yeah, like what you do when you're younger and like hold yourself in the door frame type, Ta type shit. shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But it was like I was kind of on the bed with one hand. I can't remember how it was. It while was the like car was it driving? Was magical. Yeah, while the tour bus is moving Fuck. and it was oh, like a and you're using like the I can't even like supreme. Text. Yeah, I had like su supreme fucking you hit, like, ability. You like a speed bump, but it's just like don't don't. You know, it was, it was, that was like legendary. That was that closest to zero gravity for sure. And it gave me like I think extra sauce. That was tight. The next bag you get, you got to yeah. just turn a part of your house into a replica of that. Yeah, the corn. Uh, that's what I was thinking too, is I was like, I was like, I I, since then I've looked for similar places where that could happen. And it's just like, it was just a really lucky sort of setup, you know, like I, you can't, you're not really in a room. Or, magic. Yeah. yeah, it was, yeah, I can't even. I wish I had like a, a photo of myself on the side, like a demonstration to show you guys. But was she you know. appreciating yes. the effort yeah, that you yeah, were putting yeah, into yeah. this? I, okay. I think I think after the fact, I like demonstrated. I was like, "Yeah, this is what I was just doing." <laughs> just right. Check me out. Like, check me. Yeah. <laughs> Respect me. Check like, me. You should have seen me shit from the side, dude. <laughs> 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 she was sick. Well, that was tight. And uh, I'll just say, uh, yeah. in, in high school, yeah. I lived in Minnesota. Hey. As you know, people, there's some, you know, there's some some farms out there. Oh, Remember being at a party where I was hitting it on a um, on a hay bale. On a hay bale. Remember that. Damn. And that's not really that's, my scene at all. I'm not like nah. a farmer f type I'm person. Like, on, like we had beef with like the farmer kids, kind of the Hicks. Like hilarious. I was like the skater crew. The farmer and, like, kids. Yeah. Like Hicks is a better way to put it because a lot of them weren't actually farmers or anything. They just, yeah. It's a weird flex, you know? It is. So did you truck. fuck on their hay barrels out of like despite like fuck like, the fuck your, fuck fuck the your farmers. hay. Yeah. 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 This shit <laughs> in, in organic now. Nut on their goddamn belt peppers. You know what's hilarious is there was a horse that ate that. There was a horse that ate your semen off the God goddamn ass. hay bale. You didn't think about that, did you? Yeah. Sometimes it's there for the, just decorations, though. That horse is like the booty do at what least. The fuck is that? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody maybe took like their Christmas card pictures on top of some fucking. A hundred percent. So yeah. how, what was the position? Was she just yeah, like hay's got to be so uncomfortable? Was she, like, it was. Doggy? It was. It was. I think it was doggy because I think otherwise it would have yeah, kind of been abrasive on the on the cheeks. You know, some hay. Hay yeah. isn't hay isn't soft like you. Nah. Yeah, like no. You, want it to it be, ain't yeah. good. you know what's great? You're tall, right? That's just that's for fucking. That's just amazing. I got so many issues. I'm only five now. I got issues <laughs> where I got to fucking tiptoe shit i gotta oh and then also my femurs aren't big so sometimes You're what my femurs oh i thought you said lemurs and i was like <laughs> we can call lemurs. i, I, I heard fingers was, yeah my fingers are not big either yeah so i got these small small ass femurs so sometimes when i'm on my knees in trying to get the fucking uh you know the backwards fucking i have i have like leverage like, you're like bull wrestling or something that's shit? what i'm saying yeah, yeah they're yeah. taller so now i gotta fucking put a pillow under my knees you know how disrespectful it is to be a man <laughs> when you gotta put a goddamn pillow underneath yeah. your knees and then she's like did you just put a pillow and you're like oh, i got a bad back i had surgery yeah, when i was a child yeah. I, gotta, <laughs> I, I put rollerblades on my knees hold up 
Well, you gotta <laughs> just a, that'd be away. hard. That'd be hard. <laughs> that that, that's like hard. what my tour bus situation was. As, <laughs> as if I had ice skates on and I was on a freshly ice skate fucking. I mean, bro, you think anybody in the Sonic break room popped off and, and, and you got it on with a coworker? One wearing rollerblades. Hundred percent. Would fucking rollerblades be better or worse? I think worse because you can't worse. get any traction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you got if you got ice skates on on not ice, the I amount of leverage that you can get. I'd be nervous. I'd be like, switch positions, turn around, her head's accidentally cut off. Oh shit! And you're like, oh shit! You want me to go on top? Oh fuck! Yeah, you, hit the, you hit the Iron oh, Lotus shit. and that's it. The Iron Lotus? What's that? Is that not, you don't seen Blades of Glory? Ain't that the, oh, the one oh, where you get your head cut off half the time? Oh, yes. yes you yes, haven't yes. seen it? No, I have seen you it. You haven't seen it. Okay. Okay. Ice skating. Yeah, okay. I've also seen Tropic Thunder. Anyways, next question, Gabe. <laughs> you guys know about the Golden Lotus? <laughs> what? Of course you know. That sounds like a fire Chinese restaurant. It's next question. Feet, bro. <laughs> Golden Lotus? That's an yeah. actual. Damn. Yup. Man, what, what is that shit? You dip your feet that's in honey mustard? If you want to. Chick-fil-A sauce? You ever got a happy ending? No. Bro, I did that once. I would highly recommend it. No, you, they, you felt bad afterwards. No, I didn't. You felt good? Yes. No. Because they jerk you off with the premium oils, essential oils, no. shit that's like. Lavender? I'm going to sleep. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. So you guys are well accustomed to Whoa. ass. He told me about it. Well, not yeah. <laughs> and so I had my girl do it. And I was like, all right, let's be real here. And then she did it. And I was like, oh, fuck. Am I Elon Musk? It was just happened? tight. It was Elon Musk. Yeah. I mean, my, it was cool. I mean, it cool. Would, yeah. Yes, dude. My nut will go through a wall. I didn't think it was. Like, I thought it was a hoax. I was like, there ain't no way. But not a hoax. Do you get that every time now? Do not you? every time, but certain girls that I hook up with know that that's my shit. So I'll let them know right before I'm about to come, and then they get. They, you ever just do it with like a, a random girl just on site? Like uh, just met her? on site? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At 24 Hour Fitness, <laughs> Michael. Now yeah. you're talking. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. It, but it's kind of like the that that you can't. The more you have, the more normal it comes. It's almost like like that birthday thing. It's like, oh shit, is that time of the month? Boom. It, it that is right because it's like yeah, it's like eating too much birthday cake, right? You're like at some point you're like, ugh, this is just regular. But yeah. so if you do it, maybe you limit yourself like once a week, once every two weeks, then it'll still be magical. But you can't. There's a couple of girls that know that that's like sort of like my button to come, so then they'll just do it, and then it's just like at that's some point, the button. Oh, oh, that's the button. Oh, that's the goddamn gotta eat. Jet. I thought it was like, a, oh okay. Oh, that's the, it, that's it's, the just, it's just an enhancement. Thing. It feels like you got the the star on Mario Kart. Okay. And, you, and you're like, you're all lighting up and shit. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. Damn. Yeah. yeah, that was the one time I've ever been able to do that. that oh cool. my God. Yeah, what the fuck? Tight. What's happening? This is what's so hilarious about this podcast is like, we're now we're here and we started with what? I don't even fucking remember what we started. What oh, the question. question oh, where's the place you bang? Hay bale, butthole stuff. Yeah. Hay bale is just, it's not, it's just, it's just funny. It's just a funny place to be yeah. like trying to get. I feel like I could probably think of a cooler one. Oh, um, I don't go. know if you can get it in there, but I I, okay. I got it on in the <laughs> in the in the mega bus bathroom one time, uh, and it was tiny. It was like oh, yeah. really really small, but we were just super super into yeah, it. Was it. Like it was like a four hour bus high ride, club, but without the mile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was club. like it was like a mile high club where you're like doing all this fancy bathrooms, shit. Yeah, those bathrooms are just like they're literally like a telephone booth. It's just yeah. straight up and down. We're riding the bus from oh, and this too. I think we're riding the bus from San Antonio to Houston. So you know it's like oh, a, musty. that mega bus crowd is like gonna be yeah, it was musty. The I was thinking of a tour musty. bus. This is straight up just like a random mega ass bus. bus mega bro. bus like a transportation bus, bus like an airplane Did on you wheels. Meet the girl on the bus or you're traveling no, with her? No, I was traveling with her. Yep. And like, I, I swear it was like on site when we got on the bus. There was something about the bathroom that was something just calling. Something about the scent of like yeah. lead in the air. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, something we near Houston, it. baby. Yeah, I've, jer I've jerked yeah. off of mega bus bathrooms countless times. Bored Word. all the time. But also, here's the crazy thing about <laughs> mega bus bathrooms is maybe you can, all right, you, can is... you can illuminate this for me a little bit, is it's a porta potty. Yeah. It, there's no plumbing on a bus. So you're, you're fucking in there. It doesn't smell great. Nah. Yeah, no, it was, it was definitely kind of hey, raunchy. I remember the adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was like uncomfortable. It. it was yeah. like not tight. No. I mean, so what position are you in? You just cool. seated, and she's on top. I think it was like I think yeah. I think we even switched. We like did that for a little bit, and yeah. it wasn't working out too hot. And then we tried a little doggy stuff. I think in the end, the whole mega bus fucking was just kind of like a yeah. The bus driver was like, back is like, no, nah, you got to try standing up. You're like, oh, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. Who's driving? Who's driving? Stops the bus. No, yeah, she was. Uh, I mean, it was. You come out of bathroom, cool. another couple waiting to fuck. You're like, oh yeah, we next <laughs> Texas, yeah, team up. Yeah, that's great. No, yeah, it was nothing too special, but that's pretty special. Yeah, yeah. fucking on a mega bus. It's pretty yeah, that's romantic. I've never fucked least. in a bus. That's romantic. I've had prostitutes ask me if I wanted to fucking buses before. I said no. Who's, Good for you. Good whose bus? I'm sorry. Who's who's Greyhound bus? No, no, it was a Chinatown bus. You guys ever fuck with a Chinatown bus? Uh -huh. 
Worst ever. They literally, they exist in every Chinatown, like in the East Coast. Like it'll be like uh, DC Chinatown to like New York Chinatown, whatever. It's like super inexpensive. Uh, very, very not safe. The drivers are drunk. It's horrible. Anyways. Mm, huh? but the, yeah. So but I would I would always take a really late Such. bus from uh, from DC back to New York where I live. And there was a couple of times, I would say maybe I took the bus 20 times, maybe like twice or three times. Literally a prostitute will walk up and down the aisle just asking all the dudes if they want to partake. And, Damn. And yeah, and every single time. What do you do if you're like the first guy, like in the first yeah, row? Like, do you go grab her hand and she just keeps, you just follow her down the line and then there's like four dudes I mean, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen it's just like she whispers and then they discuss a price and then she turns and she walks in the bathroom and then one second later he goes, oh, I got to the bathroom too. And then he walks. That's yeah, a coincidence. Yeah. Oh, wow. Crazy. <laughs> you're in here too, cinnamon tits. But what do you do if like you do that with her and you're like, oh, she's kind of cute. I love her. And then she goes with another guy. You're like, oh man, now I got oh, beef with the guy in the seat four, four, three. Oh, you didn't know that she was a prostitute? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you like, th- you th- th- felt here? special. Yeah. Or- and then she's you- banging Randy three rows down. You're like, what the fuck, Randy? Yeah. Randy? That was my girl. I thought we had something. Yeah. We're going to get dim some after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, we got any more? Oh, yeah. By yeah. the way, when Gabe's find it, the uh, I can't remember the exact fucking title. It, is it is it Bag of Chips? Is that what's yeah, called? Yeah. What song? That song it bangs for me. I fucking love it. Yeah, oh. Bag of Chips. Yeah, me and my boy bag Bobby. It's it's <laughs> so good. It bangs in my head. It's also funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm a, he came to me with that concept. He just wrote the the first line of the hook. Like, that's your bitch. She's sucking dick for a bag of chips. I was like, oh, we're about to really stretch <laughs> this to the it. limit. <laughs> we are we're gonna, turning up. They're going to be sucking dick for every single type what of What was food. it? A jo- uh, give me jaw for a white claw? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shorty giving head for a slice of bread, jaw for a white claw. Dang. Don't for some it. chicharron. Dang. Top for an ice pop. Yeah, shit was. That's I went crazy. off, dog. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's so Gas Nova. Uh, all right, cool. Well, I got a, we got a question here. This one's from Nathan Miller, and this is a, this is a, a reference to a to a Michael Blaustein situation here. But oh, he says, uh, "Young Gravy, would you lick your own cum off a girl's foot if it was her bigger fan, biggest fantasy?" Um, <laughs> uh, this is a you thing. <laughs> So you this man had some weird ass weekend with some chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just Can all I, I know is the one time I taste my own cum, it was like an accident. <laughs> That's let me let me just continue. I, I I went down on a girl that I just had sex with and got just a mouth of my own my own yeah. family, and yeah. I was just like yeah, Ugh! like it was horrible. I just sat there for like half a yeah. second, like kind of hunched, you know, like I'm kind of in like leopard like uh-huh. four on all fours yeah, position. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like I just felt like an animal. I was like. Ugh! Ugh, and I think I just I don't think I really threw up on my floor but I just I let it all out and yeah yeah. You that, got from that moment on it's, it's yeah. not happening again it's, it was like the nightmare with the dick breaking it was just like right so you won't so I'm over I, it yeah I'll give you a little more I'll give you some context so there was a yeah, girl that flew that. out for me uh, and one of her fantasy was for me to come on her feet and for me to lick my own so cum was, off her feet right that was her whole that was her, like fantasy <laughs> she hit you up specifically like I need Michael to so I have I have a pretty big foot fetish. So she was he aware here sucking on the feet, golden lotuses. So uh, so she found out she's not she's not a fan of the podcast, but she found out because obviously she DM me whatever on some on some freak shit. But so we were texting back and forth. So she to... so she knew that and she goes, oh well, hey, coincidentally my foot my my fantasy is coincidentally my foot. Yeah, lots yeah to be exactly. On right now. Um, yeah, twenty four hour fitness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was it you know it, listen it was a choice it was a choice, but I was like, listen, man, you only live once. You know what I mean? Yeah. You only live once. And turn up. Sometimes you gotta turn up. I was gonna while out. And I did it, and let, and I saw you guys already know, but I did it, and she came immediately, and I, what, I my fingers weren't in her, I, my dick wasn't in her, nothing. So I literally came on her feet, and as soon as I put her feet in my mouth with my, cum, she came immediately. That was a hot, one of the hottest. Did things she? Of my life. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That just sounds like a story I would tell back when I, when I was in like high school, and they're like, "Yeah," and then she like came a rainbow and a unicorn, and yeah, it was just you know I just got that dope finger you know yeah. game. There were skittles coming out. Yeah, I ate some. taste Whatever. rainbow. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's crazy. Um, nice. So you where do you know, go huh? from that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. It's good. To where know. do you go from that? You get up and be like, "All right, well, you want to go to brunch?" Well, we're gonna find out because she's coming here about a week and a half. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck, where are you gonna top that? I don't know. She said she Coming wants, her ear love, she wants her to film it. She wants to film it and she wants to lick my butt. Film? Yeah. Dude, have you ever done a butt lick? Yeah. You, ever had, you got a I don't know. This man out here. You're, yeah. He no, out I'm, here. I'm not a, no. You're not a fan of the butt I, lick? I mean, I had a girl who, who was super into it and I was super not into it. And then yeah. she would like force, like 
like in the shower, I'd just be trying to mind my own business and I'll just feel a tongue in my ass or be like, yeah, yeah. I'm just half asleep. Oh, damn. She's ass like, is my like, iPhone charger up there? Oh. And I'm like yeah. super, I'm super ticklish. So it was like not a good. You're laughing getting a rim job. That's a good yeah, weird look. I was never, I'm too ticklish for that type of stuff. I think maybe that's why the other thing yeah, doesn't work for me either. Too yeah. ticklish. yeah, listen, if I was too ticklish, I wouldn't do it, but I'm not ticklish. So love it. It's great. Ladies. <laughs> hit me up. Yeah. Actually don't. Actually don't hit me up. Okay. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm pulling back the ropes. Okay. Yeah. Not. I'm only using my dick for for passionate encounters for women that I think it could be a thing. A woman that would give mm. your sam like your kid like a crust of sandwich. Yes. Like I trust her with a with a good ham and cheese. Yes. All the crust cut off. And you know I can tell if you're good with my puppy, and I can tell immediately if you walk in my and place. And your puppy is. An actual puppy. An actual puppy. Yeah. That's not a name oh, for your asshole. Hilarious. <laughs> I thought, that, yeah, that could definitely be. That could be my asshole. That could yeah. be anybody, puppy, to be honest. Puppy. So you're yeah. secretly well, you calling out to the freaks right now who know who puppy is on your OnlyFans. God damn. Dr. Yeah. Puppy. Dr. Puppy Dr. is a puppy. horny ass name, and I do not like that. Yeah, I, like I hate it, please. We're going Dr. down a bad puppy. road here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, or it's, the perfect yeah. road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man. All right, guys. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a secret talk here. Yep. Um, so this is an anonymous listener who writes in and says, one time I was jerking off during a hurricane. Uh, when the roof it. started coming apart at my house is when I busted the biggest nut. I think he's Poseidon. So, sounds like it. That's yeah. so tight. That's dope. Wait, this is a the secret what? Secret talk. So this is just like anonymous, anonymous stuff people want to write in, but they don't want to put their I, name. I wouldn't oh. be anonymous about that. I would no, brag yeah, at school. Yeah, I, would I, would brag, I, I would fucking blew the roof off my house with a nut. That's dope. I... I um. I actually, believe it or not, it's a crazy coincidence. It happened to me with an earthquake. And it was like, it was maybe off by like 30 seconds, but it's the only time I ever felt an earthquake. And it was in really? Montana where they almost never have earthquakes. And, and I like, nutted. I maybe maybe, maybe like, maybe I exaggerated. Maybe it was like a minute off, but it was like, yeah. I nutted. And then I was mad. I was like, damn, like I was in it and I could have held on, but I was like, fuck it, let me, I'm gonna just nut. Yeah. And then like the world like told yeah. me that because I'm laying there. I mean, it hit with like a stage, stage, Whatever the word, stage six earthquake, and I'm like, Ooh, whoa! And were like, you jerking off? Were you? It would have been really cool. No, I was fucking this girl, and, yeah, yeah. and she had just gotten up, and it would have been <gasps> so say, dope. That would have be been like, awesome because yeah. you wouldn't have to pump anymore. Yeah, this shit's just falling off the shelves. You're like third grade soccer trophy lands. You're yeah. like, damn, I got that fucking trophy yeah. on the ground, dick. You're like, goddamn, my inside iPhone is fucking vibrate. <laughs> yeah, so so natural disasters and nutting. I I feel you. Hell yeah! yeah. Again, the penis can tell when something's coming. It's, yes. Uh, yeah. Puppy, um, penis, yeah. Can you imagine just literally busting a nut as your roof is coming off? Just yeah, think that's, about that. That's <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, and, and I feel like if your roof's coming off, you probably have known for a bit now that it's about to come off. So yeah. it's like, it's like he's powering through it. Near. Yeah. That was his dying wish was to play with that wrist. All right, so oh, I feel God. you, my He's God. like, oh shit, I made a skylight. But honestly, bro, I don't know, like, like, yeah, bro, if I was like younger and I was just like, fuck it, like the world's about to end, I'm rubbing yeah. one out. Yeah. Why not? Oh, like we're your gonna... parents are like like the fire alarms going off. Your parents are screaming. Like, yeah, they're like, go to the fucking basement, get the dry Tucker, foods the and water. Down. Yeah. I'm Fuck a kid. all that. I got a Crayola in my ass. You gotta Who eat cares? a dehydrated, uncrustable. No, I'm yeah. fucking rubbing one out. Licking my Fuck own that, feet. Baby. Who cares? Can you? No. All right. I feel like I could if I wanted to. I would. For it, for the record. Yeah. Are you would. and feet? I could probably do it. I don't. I don't want to demonstrate. Probably probably yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. so far. I think they're far for a reason. You know. Yes. Me. I, Close. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why. Reason. Yeah. Oh, because I can constantly see him. Well, I, I think it is. I got cute feet. So I look down. I like. I got cute feet. You better have cute feet. That's how I feel about it. You know. Do you have a, I do, do you not. Have a fence know. Do you have a foot foot Instagram? Do you, do you a foot Instagram? You know what's interesting, man? Is I, I know don't. I just but like, that's a thing. but any of that like. Uh, any of the foot because I get people send me DMs all like oh check this foot Instagram out it never does it for me and we've talked about this a bunch Trevor and I like just a foot doesn't do it for me I need it to be attached to a, if I'm just looking at a foot I'm not like eh fuck yeah I like it it, it, it uh, accentuates the rest of it but I can't just do a foot that's why people are like what hey, if there's a grilled cheese in the background in, in I do a lot of Velveeta? things for grilled cheese Velveeta cheese on it let me ask you this Dumb. oh you don't even like tomatoes do you nah fuck all that loser do you like, do you like tomatoes I like tomatoes fuck. and cilantro but I'm, I'm on that side let me ask you this though <sighs> grilled cheese with a tomato in it yeah I'd do it fuck I'd, yeah. I'll dip it in tomato soup I might do roll. more though I might add also like bacon or something you know there you oh, go shit there yeah. you go okay yeah alright yeah. Michael fucks with feet a lot and I'm gonna keep that in mind now yeah if I see feet just anywhere, I'll 
It'd just be like Michael. Yeah. Michael. And then Listen, she'd walk in. So. I'm a single man. If you happen to meet a cute girl on tour with cute feet, you can be like, I know the perfect dude. For yeah, me. I know a dude. Yep. Who would five, indulge in those? Five feet. Nine. 11. I'm going to say 5'11. 11. 11. There you go. 5'11. Five, 5'11. Five, nice five, five, yep. Yeah. Barefoot, too. Yep. Yeah, bare. I mean, no. Because dudes be measuring on it in some thick shoes. Oh, I'll, I'll wear Timberlands to the doctor's office. I'll stand on top of my own mother just to, to see how tall I am. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Mom. Mom. You got to meet me. <laughs> I need a ride. Meet me at the doctor's office. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to cover for the, the regular episode or anything? Um, album? Yeah. Gasanova. Gasanova out now. That shit uh, is crazy. There's some massive features on it, and it's just it's just a it's, it's a, a good album. record made by Young Gravy. Y'all should peep it. Gasanova c- covers Pink. Can't miss it. Um, yeah, baby. Gasanova. That's about it. That's uh, it. Well, thank you for joining us, man. Uh, we're gonna ask a few more questions on our Patreon for you. Uh, if you want to check that out, it's Patreon.com/slash/stiffsockspod. Stiff socks, baby. Gravy and stiff socks. Oh.